Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, after a gorgeous Sunday, even better today. Temperatures in some areas, not quite 90, but close to it. It's been a long time since we've had, you know, 87, 88 degrees. Take a look at the numbers uh, this afternoon, including 89 in Taunton, Providence at 88. Uh, the coastline, mid and upper 80s before the sea breeze kicked in and cooled things off a little bit. So uh, summer's last gas, perhaps. You can see 84, the high temp in Smithfield. Switching gears now down in the tropics, the Bahamas, the coast of Florida behind me, and this is Tropical Storm Cristobal. The wind's still holding at 60 miles per hour, but what we're noticing is that the thunderstorms in bright white and here and here are not really wrapped around the center of the storm. And when we see that kind of a structure, well, the storm is having a hard time uh, getting organized. Winds at about 60, gusts to 70, now moving north, northeast at a slow rate at four miles per hour. Here is southern New England, and the uh, forecast thinking pretty much the same in that we anticipate a track over the next uh, three to five days to the north, northeast, and eventually bending out to sea as a hurricane. So notice, well to the south and east of New England. So obviously rain and wind is not an impact. Though we're going to have to watch uh, the waves, the surf, and the rip current risk by midweek. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. Meanwhile, speaking of the beaches, beautiful along the South Shore. I'll step out of the way near against the town beach with lots of sunshine, a beautiful day, sea breeze kicking in, keeping, keeping temperatures a little cooler down there. Just some thin clouds in Providence, otherwise sunshine in 81 on a southeast breeze at 13. Humidity now coming in at 54%. Mid 80s inland, you can see the influence of the wind off the water now, that cool, refreshing sea breeze along the shoreline between roughly 75 and 77. High pressure fair weather system in control. Uh, real pretty satellite photo so things look you know relatively quiet over the next several days with a warming trend now tonight we'll start a brand new weather feature what we call our threat tracker where over the next several days we just give you a kind of a broad brush idea as far as any potential for significant or severe weather down the road and certainly no problems for this evening and tomorrow is just a gorgeous summer day so what's the deal with Wednesday well on land we're doing just fine however uh, with the ocean, with uh, to the hurricane now well offshore, we're going to watch the beaches very closely. So this is more of a, of a moderate concern for swimmers as far as rough surf and perhaps the potential for increased rip currents. I would say both uh, uh, Wednesday and Thursday on that particular situation. So we'll watch it for you closely. Swimmers and surfers, you want to be careful. Gorgeous tomorrow morning. Look at the rapid warm-up. So by tomorrow afternoon, temperatures getting up into the mid-80s. Another beautiful summer day. And it gets even warmer on Wednesday. Close to 90. We're going 88 slightly cooler on Thursday. One thing I should note, an isolated thunderstorm late Wednesday afternoon, otherwise some pretty warm sunshine, then slightly cooler as we get towards the holiday weekend. Friday looks good, Saturday not bad, going with a couple of showers on Sunday. I don't think we're dealing with a, a rainy day or a washout, but rather showers in the early call on Labor Day Monday, partly sunny skies, dry and comfortable with daytime highs in the upper 70s. So that storm heading out to see WPRI.com will be uh, updating the latest blog on Cristobal, another big storm off the coast line which will move away from New England but once again uh, the surf and the rip current risk will be increasing by midweek. Looks like though a great beach week. I'm sure all the kids probably <laughs> wishing that they could be one more week before school actually starts. Well some warm classrooms this week. Absolutely. <laughs> all right Tony thank